Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today, I will be doing an installation tutorial for the new Bullard script by London Studios. This script allows you to set up Bullards to stop unwanted traffic from coming in or out. A detailed showcase video of this script was created by London Studios, and I will link the channel below just in case you have any further questions, comments, or concerns about what the script has to offer. If this video failed to help you install the asset correctly, please refer to London Studios detailed documentation or the London Studios support team located in their Discord for further assistance with this asset. Today, I will be showcasing how to download the asset, install it into your 5M server, and I'll go over the different configurations for this asset. The first step in the installation process for the Smart Bullards resource is to go ahead and then head over to keymaster.5m.net. This will be linked in the description. Uh, this is essentially what London Studios uses to grant you whitelist to your assets. After that is all fine and dandy, you're going to want to go ahead and come over to Granted Assets. After you click that, you should see a tab that looks something similar like this with your CFX username listed here. Your London Studios resource should say created by London Studios and then Smart Bullards. Uh, it will give you information such as when it was received at and even the last update for the resource. You're going to want to go ahead and click the blue download button right there and then it should add it to your downloads on Google. Just like that, we have downloaded the resource. We're going to go ahead and open this up. It should come in a .zip. And once you open up the zip file, you will see information or you will see a file that looks somewhat similar to this. In order to install this, we're going to go ahead and go to our TX data for our server. We're going to go to our CFX default base uh, file. You're going to go to your resources area and you should just see something like this. You might have a scripts folder. You might have different folders in here, um, or you might have nothing. We're going to go ahead and right click, and we're going to make a new folder for the resource. We're going to name it Smart Full Arts, just like so. You're going to go ahead and open up that resource, and then you're essentially going to go ahead and take everything from the uh, .zip that you just installed, and you're going to drag and drop it into that resources folder with the Smart Full Arts. Um, folder located inside should take a quick minute to go ahead and transfer over we can see that all of our files have came after we install the smart bullards into the folder that we set up we're going to go ahead and come back to cfx default base it might be some name something different for you but you need to come back to the folder that holds your server cfg file you're going to go ahead and open that folder up and you're going to go ahead and scroll down to um, where you ensure all your resources. Once again, it might look a little different for you. For this, you're going to go ahead and put start or you can use ensure, whichever one works for you. Uh, and then the name of your folder. So we named our folder Smart Bullards. Make sure your capitalization, your spaces and everything is correct. Just like you see here, it matches up perfectly with our folder name there this is just so we can run the script properly um, this cfg as you may know talks to the server and starts all these resources so we can use it in server let's go ahead and jump into the configuration of the smart bullards resource go ahead close out of the zip that you installed and we're going to focus over here we're going to go ahead and open the config.lua in this file, it may look a little bit different to you. I personally use Visual Studio Code, which will be linked in the description to edit these files. You might use Notepad or Notepad++, uh, whichever works for you um, is, is your preference. Um, to start off, we have the developer mode option. So basically, this allows anybody in your server to edit the bullards uh, as they please to do so. Um, so just ensure that this option is not turned on uh, if your server is open to the public uh, or anything like that. Uh, because everybody will have the option to spawn the bullards. Here we have all of our blip settings. If you would like blips to be enabled for your bullards, you can go ahead and tell them there. Uh, if you would like just a short range blip, um, or you can change the individual properties of each blip by changing the, the sprite number, the color, the scale, the display, or the name of the blip. This, um, this blip will be put on screen right now so you can see what it kind of looks like in-game. Then you can base your configuration on that. Coming down to here, we're going to get into our permission sets. We'll start off with the police department. Um, so all of your police department uh, kind of configuration will be set here. 
So your permitted vehicles for the police department, FBI and police four, these are just default vehicles. If I wanted to add another police car to this uh, vehicle section, I would put a comma and put those brackets and go ahead and add the police just like so. Come down here to the permission sets, ACE permission specific. Um, this is just framework by framework. So you can see we have ESX, we have ACE permissions, VRP and QB core integration. Um, so if you would like to use ACE permissions, you can go ahead and set that to true. Put your permission group there. If you'd like to use ESX, you can set that to true. You can have it check and filter for jobs. Um, if you would like to do so, you would just turn that to true, put the job name in there or the multiple jobs. If you'd like anybody, but you still use ESX, you can turn that to false. For VRP, same thing. If you'd like it enabled, you can set that to true. If you'd like to check for a job or a group, you can set that to true, put your groups in there. Or if you have a specific VRP permission, such as bullards.move, you can go ahead and set that to true as well. Same thing for QB core, you can go ahead and set that for true. If you'd like to use the QB core framework, you can have a check for jobs listed here, or you can check the permission for the bullards.move. We have the same exact configuration for fire. We can go ahead and add more fire cars if we would like to. We could go ahead and add tanker one, which is not a default patrol vehicle in the inside of the game, but that's just a spawn code that you could put in if you had, uh, you know, such vehicle. And then it is essentially the same set of permissions configuration. You have your ACE perm, your ESX, VRP, and QB core that you can go in and go ahead and fine tune for the fire department for the um, ambulance department as well. You can see down here, you can put an ambulance in for those ambulance first responders. Coming down here to the messages. These are the messages that appear on screen when you go up to interact with the bullards. Uh, you can see a demonstration of that on screen now. We can go ahead and custom config those messages so they pop up like um, a certain way you would like. If you would like it to say your server, for example, you could do RRP or flea RP, for example. Um, and you could put those in there if you so desire. Down here at the bottom, you shouldn't really need to touch this too much. These are just talking to the stream folder. Um, these are honestly, uh, you know, you shouldn't have to touch these at all, but these are just telling the game what it needs to spawn. And if you do have an issue, then you can go ahead and alter it to your liking. Or if you'd like to spawn a different model in game to use for your bullards, you can go ahead and put that and define that in here. So overall, really good customization um, options here. You shouldn't have to touch anything else in any other uh, files. So let's go ahead, jump in game and set some up. All right, so I've gone ahead and launched the game here and you can see already on our map, on our mini map here, we have the smart bullard, uh, bullard sets for all of the different locations around the map. Um, so very cool indeed. These are just the default ones that London Studios provides with the assets. Obviously, we enabled the blip setting so we can see all the blips um, that are on here. So that is very cool to see indeed. I've just made my way outside one of the default uh, bullard set that London Studios have set up for us. Um, we're going to go ahead and manually enter the code. All of the, uh, most of them are default coded to 1234 for the access code. This can be configured once you set it up. I'll show you how to do that in a second. But you can see as soon as we put the access code in that the bullards do go down and we can access this area freely. If we want to put it back up manually, we can go ahead and put, put in the 1234 code. As soon as you put the access code in, though, the bullards do not automatically go back up. You have to manually um, put them down just in case, you know, maybe you want them to stay down for, you know, an event or something that, that's happening down here. Maybe the place is closed or maybe the place is open. You want it to stay down or stay up. Let's go ahead and jump in an LEO vehicle and see how it responds to that happening. All right, so we are in the FBI uh, vehicle that we set up in the spawn code. We're going to go ahead and just come in to the area, and you'll see that the bullards automatically go down and the green light is turned on. We're going to go ahead and drive through to the next set. You'll see that the ones behind us go ahead and close. We'll go ahead and get these people out of the way here. Oh, well, you're going to get ran over, man. I apologize. Go ahead and run through this bullard area and you'll see that it does come down because this vehicle is set up in the spawn code uh, configuration sort of set that we, we did. So let's go ahead and show you guys how to make your bullards for your own. I went ahead and jumped in the configuration file to enable developer mode so we can go ahead and place our bullards down in game. So let's go ahead and set one up. 
So we're going to go ahead and do slash bullards create. And we're going to name this peer set. This is going to go ahead and put us in the editing mode, which is awesome. Really cool. You're going to go ahead and use your arrow keys to navigate this menu on our right. We're going to go ahead and we can create the different kind of bullards here. We can create a static bullard, a mobile bullard. Um, we could do the signal post with the bullard, or we could just do a default signal post. So I think we're going to start off. We're going to put a um, bullard here. You just hold down your mouse and you can pretty much drag it wherever. You can put it on this guy's head. We can put it on the flower box. We can put wherever we want, which is really cool, really great, um, and easy customization for this script. Let's go ahead and spawn another one. We'll put a, another default bullard over here. And then we're going to go ahead and get our signal posts set up. In order to rotate, you're just going to hold R until you set it up to your liking. Go ahead, put one there. We'll put a signal post looking the other way as well on this side. WASD to move around. Check out where you want it just for the demonstration purposes. I'm going to make it relatively simple today. We're going to go ahead and create ourselves a mobile bullard. Bring it here. We'll put one there. And then this is going to be a bit of a repetitive process, but we'll just put it like that. You could set it up and fine tune it exactly how you desire, which is awesome. Uh, you know, I have never really seen any sort of script that has this level of customization. Well, I must say, I don't know either, sir. So really cool, really good integration. You know, it's not exactly straight. I would definitely take longer personally if I was doing this for like an alive production server. But you know, it works, it works. Um, so once we're done with that, we can go ahead and come to the bottom and save changes. You can also toggle your note clip. So if you'd like to test the environment, see what's going on. It's not actually an object yet, so it won't be there. But you can just fine look, uh, fine tune, fine adjust and look at the assets and everything. Make sure they're lined up, which they are not currently, but it's okay. Um, and then you can go ahead and click save changes when they're done. Here, you can set your proximity range. So how close do you want your vehicles to have to be for the bullards to go down or go up? We're going to leave it at 6.0. This is a pretty good distance. I haven't had too much issues with this. You go ahead and click enter there. For your four-digit pin code, this could be something that you can set that only your cops know or only your people in your company, for example, in RP know. Um, we're going to set 1550 for our code. The time before rising after pin codes in seconds um, personally, I mean, I have this set to disable usually, but you can also set it to like, for example, 500 seconds. Enter all your permission sets. So you can go ahead and put your police permission set in there, or you could just go ahead and put all for anybody to edit it. And there we have it. You guys can see that we now have our bullard set and it is all good to go. And it's actually here in person, just how we set it up, just how we edited it. Um, and everything like that. If we go ahead and test out our pin code, 1550, you can see it goes down and the light will go green and it will go ahead and rise up in 500 seconds, just like we set. If we go ahead and spawn our LEO vehicle, we can go ahead and come up to the bullards and they will go down, come through, and they will return back up. Now, since we set this one to all in the configuration, any vehicle can open this set of bullards, which is really cool. But if we go ahead and drive over to the one just over the bridge there, you will see that we will not be able to open that one uh, because that one's obviously set to that police spawn code that we set earlier. If we come over here, you can see we are not getting through that anytime soon and our engine's just gonna get completely destroyed. There's no way to finagle through this location. Anyways, everybody, that is my detailed review and installation video on the Smart Bullards resource. If you guys did like and enjoy, please let me know in the comments below. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can also reach out in our comments section, or you can go to the London Studios support team Discord or reference the documentation for further assistance with this resource. We're going to have more London Studios installation videos and review videos coming soon, um, so definitely stay tuned to the channel for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you later on Flea Live.